Welcome to the 2021 Mercedes AMG E53 Coupe. This, in our opinion, is a bit of a wolf in sheep's clothing. It looks really suave and smooth on the outside with a classically classy interior. However, give it a tickle and you'll be blown away by its performance. It hammers along. Although you can get the fire-breathing E63 V8 in sedan form, the E53 sits at the top of the E-Class Coupe range. You can also get it in convertible form and as a sedan. We love the discreet spoilers front and rear and the 3D LED lights. The overall proportions are also nicely done with no weird overhangs or protruding creases. The E53 comes with all-wheel drive as standard, which is a bit disappointing as rear-wheel drive could make it a lot more interesting, but we guess it's not that kind of car. It also comes with air suspension, providing a wide variety of adjustment settings. How sick are these wheels? The disc section around the outside just makes them look so cool but also rather stylish and elegant, obviously suiting the Mercedes brand. They're staggered in size, with 245s on the front and 275s on the back. Grip is definitely not an issue, even in wet conditions, as you'll soon see. Inside, the decor is quite calm and there is very little clutter around the console and dash. But then up higher, you'll see why. Everything is packed into two massive screens. We're not a big fan of the touchpad controller on the console, as it can be fiddly to operate when driving. It's also easy to bump when reaching for the cup holders, so you can end up skipping tracks without intending to. The attention to detail is just brilliant though, especially the climate vents. The wood trimming is also a lovely touch. If we could change anything, we'd probably just go for a different color theme as this test car is a little bit monotone black. Seating comfort and space is really good. After all, this is an E-Class, which is considered a large vehicle. You can slide the front seats right back if you're tall, or hunker in for a sportier position. Following tradition, you can actually wind down the rear windows. It's pillarless, in other words. Rear seat room is also pretty good for a coupe, but being able to drop the rear windows also helps open up a general sense of airiness. Right up the back, the boot is accommodating enough to support a decent trip away, and it can certainly take on the weekly shopping. As for the engine, this is a beauty. It's a straight six, which we adore, and it features clever, mild hybrid tech, including an electronic supercharger, and a conventional turbocharger. Power and torque levels are very impressive for its capacity. It also sounds superb. We think there's actually a bit of 2JZ in there, if you squint your ears. This is what it goes like. 